you see, there's the interplay of organizational warfare. There's the interplay of organizational warfare. And when we're talking about organizations, some of you will understand this clearly, especially those in the marketplace. There is warfare. Whether you're in politics, whether you are in uh, education, you are in uh, cultures, uh, entertainment, all of those things, even in media, there are, there are spiritual warfare there. You know the intensity of what happens in the line of business that you are. And the enemy will just wants to take it and pocket it. We believe that if we get more people get born again. So the individualistic thinking is that just get people saved in heaven. Jesus will come and fight the other one. As for us, our own is about the gospel of salvation. But Jesus did not come with the, for the only the gospel of salvation. He said, repent for the kingdom of God. Repent for the kingdom of God. It's at hand. The kingdom of God has come. He didn't say repent and go to heaven. I'm not saying, well, let me tell you, tell you, I don't want to take heaven away from you. You like heaven, you will go there. There's no taking heaven from you. Because if we say we'll do, people will not go to heaven now, so people will not come to church again and say, thank God we can live our life this thing. But there is heaven there, but there is heaven now. You are supposed to bring life, light, and increase anywhere you find yourself. That is heaven. That is heaven. So when I get to the marketplace, I get to a place where there's so much corruption. Yes. There's so much corruption. Some business people are crying every day. If you say you are a Christian, why are you stealing in the place? Say the, the money is not enough. Then you are Jehovah Jireh. You are Jehovah Jireh. You say, how can I live life with 50,000 naira? Why did you take it? So people cannot even live life with one million. You say, do you know how much is my beer? So people cannot live life. Increase the money, to, their lifestyle will increase. So what, what is enough for you? So now we are seeing that and you are there coming into that place and you say I want to disciple this business for God and that means that you have to go into spiritual warfare let's turn our Bibles to Colossians chapter 1 verse 13 to 20 it said he has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the son of his love in whom we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins is the image of the invisible God the firstborn over all creation for by him all things were created and they are in heaven and that are visible and that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or power, all things were created through him and for him. Mark that word. Thrones, dominions, principalities and everything was created through him and for him, who is him? Jesus Christ. And is before all things, and in him all things consist. And is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning and the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he may have the preeminence. For it pleased the Father in him all the fullness should dwell. And by him to reconcile all things to himself by him, whether things on earth or things in heaven, having made peace through the blood of his cross. Je Jesus delivered us from the realm of darkness. And translated us to the kingdom of light. We must never forget that. And it, listen, creation is suffering under this yoke because of the sin of man. No wonder in Romans chapter 8, it says creation is waiting for the endless manifestation of the sons of God. In other words, your salvation is for you to go and reconcile those things that fell because of your fall. You see, there's a narrative we paint, and that narrative is not good. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a half of the story. Man fell, and Jesus came for red, rest, uh, redemption, and that settles it. No, we were created, we fell, we were redeemed. Now it's time for restoration. It's a four-part series. 
not a two-part series. We were created, we fell, he came to redeem us. Now we need to go back and restore all things, not go to heaven. In the restoration of all things, you get to go to heaven. Oh, you didn't get it. And if we don't have that in place, the only thing you are thinking of, ah, my salvation is sure, I'm going to heaven. I agree, go to heaven. But what fell because of you must be reconciled back to him. And so Jesus made all things in heaven and on earth. Jesus made the invisible and the visible. I want you to understand because I'm trying to build a block because there are many of you, you are trying to run from a place that God has put you because the wickedness is too much. Two of us. And God may tell you for a while, take the child to Egypt. But after a while, say, bring the child back. I don't want to put the place that God did not say you should leave. Because you're season. Now the question you ask, is it for a season? Because you want to leave, it's very easy to leave so that because I don't want anybody to spoil my holiness. Heaven is sure. So you are constantly hiding from darkness while you are the light. So Jesus made the, the visible and the visible. He also made thrones, dominions, principalities and powers were made for him and for him. So when we hear about thrones, dominions, we don't want to go into that because there's another session for that. I want you to know that all those things were made for him. That's why Jesus said, that's why the Bible says, he's the head of all principalities. So when somebody comes and tells you, come and join one secret court, you are telling them, they will punish me in my own court. Because I'm submitted to, a, you want me to submit, to submit myself to a lower principality. When my, own, my they, they will deal with you too. Oh. The person is now asking, who is that principality? Say, you don't know him. I fear you if you don't know him. You know there are some things you talk in the marketplace. You don't. You 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 leave it suspending. Because people go to the marketplace and are religious instead of being of talking power. You say, "Oh girl, you know I'm born again. I cannot do this thing." Ha. They will tell you that sister that left here was born again. The other brother that was here he was in the choir. The other one was 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 sharing handbi everywhere. All this thing I tell you, this thing I'm telling you to do now, he did, she, they did everything. That's what born again people do. But when they say you should do it, they say they will finish me. They will finish me. This thing you are telling me to do now, they will finish me. And when they finish me, they will come for you. And they will finish you. He said, Who are they? He said, My brother. I, my mouth cannot even say it because if I say it to you, they will finish you. Will the person not be scared? You are not saying he will finish you. you say they. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. They will finish you. Listen, you must, you must understand the power dynamics. That's why Jesus said, you shall receive power. It is a you see a labor called born again. The solution you carry is greater than the problem you are facing. He said, what's the scripture? Greater is it that is in you. But you know you don't work with that reality. So the purpose of God is to reconcile all things in creation back to himself. He has come to redeem you and has given you that assignment. To reconcile all things back to him. What are the things you need to reconcile? The things that are falling. The family structure is falling. We are even confused who is him and her now. They are trying to confuse us, but nobody can confuse me. It's Adam and Adam. God did not create Eve. Eve was the name given to, to, to the, the Adam, who is a woman, by the fallen man. God created man, male and female. Male and female. 
There's no she me, there's no he he, there's no he ha, there's no fofo, ha ha, you you. Listen, male and female, you don't get to, is the, is the, is the creator that determines what the thing is supposed to do. Not the creation telling the creator, this is how you created me. No doubt, there are some things that there are issues that we need to fight. There's no need to start quarreling and shouting. You see somebody doing that, you say, you will go to hell. You will see. No, that, that's not our job. Our job is not to accuse. Our job is to reconcile. I don't know if you understand. I can dine with them. I can eat with them. I can hug them because light can, is stronger than darkness. You see, the interplay between the visible and invisible, principalities and powers, we have to look at it. You say, Pastor, why are you teaching us all this thing? I, I just came to church to go to heaven. All this one that you are telling me, I'm not interested in all this thing. The, the, where I'm coming from is too dark. Let, 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 let them go. I, I don't want to lose my salvation. <laughs> Two questions you'll be asked. What did you do with Jesus and what did you do with what I gave you? There are people that will never see the light until you manifest. Never. We have been called to disciple nations, not to go to heaven. In the discipling of nations, you are going to carry people there. Do you know that we are supposed to come here? Now, people are creating plants now. They are creating different things, plants that have no seed, that is bringing sickness. So those plants are under the yoke of the wicked one. They have signed now that you can create meat from the lab. <laughs> Don't eat that meat too. No matter how it's sweet too. It's if we don't produce fast, people will die. No. It's only human beings that don't stay near their food. And people are sick every day. Food is medicine, medicine is food. The invisible powers. We looked at the invisible power in Daniel chapter one, uh, 10, verse 1 to 21, when Daniel was fasting. And the message was delivered the moment he started fasting. But there was war in heaven. You see, invisible powers are, 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 they are fallen angels. Are angels and fallen angels. These principalities were created by and for Jesus, but somewhat rebelled. You see, like I always tell people, where did Lucifer see sin? Who tempted Lucifer? Huh? <laughs> Who was the first devil that tempted the second devil? And the second devil now tempted us. Or is still tempting us. That's the nature of the will. Angels have will too. So he was created with his will. So he used his will to say, I will ascend. They say he took one third of the angels. I thank God God is a creator. Maybe God has filled his space back. Because life does not leave room for... <laughs> so they are more with you than they are with them. So you must understand this invisible realm. This invisible realm. The invisible realm is more, is more real than the visible. Heaven is not up because you can look up now and it's Australia. You can look up now and it's America because they got this thing. Heaven is a realm. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So God is not in heaven, but God, heaven is in God. And so it was created for him, but they rebelled. And so you have this interplay of fighting there. Things that are supposed to come to a nation is not coming to a nation because there are things resisting it. That when they come to a nation, they, 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 it, it will be done. That's why I tell you, the open heavens prayer is about 
personal altars, corporate altars, family altars, so that constantly there is sweet incense going into the heavenlies. And Daniel keep, kept on praying. It's not because he knew what was going on there, but he understood that he has, he has called to his God and answers will be delivered to him. Do you know we, we pray not believing that for answers? We just pray because somebody say, we need to pray, oh. we need to pray, oh. Then after some time, I say, I don't pray. I don't, the answer not the come. Can you stay in believing God for one thing for 30 years? <laughs> Somebody just told me, I heard it clear in my ear, how, how long I can't live for it, 20, 30 years. <laughs> you know why you are thinking like that? You are thinking individualistic because only you. You are not thinking that for 30 years I will create a breakthrough for a generation that I may never see. And the people in the other side understand it. It, it. It's not about them. They are creating a generation. They are trying to disciple this nation for the dragon. If something does not happen in your lifetime, you don't want to be involved. Say monkey, they work, babu, they chop. Which kind of farmer could job? Sorry. You see, if I'm really understand her part in the race, she will run well and set up the other person for breakthrough. So what I'm talking now is not saying, I'm really go to this phase, you bring the breakthrough and come back, then we'll not celebrate you. Individualistic. I'm saying, I'm really go there, do your part. Your part may be to pray, I work the the building every day for 30 years. And on that person's part, you are so, you, that part is that you are creating, a, 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 you, are, you are disturbing some things in the heavenly that have been done. Things have been dug in the ground that is empowering the invisible. To be so potent in that place. Like I tell people, I was talking to pastors recently and this week and I told them, I said the most potent altar directs the spiritual and the physical direction of a nation. I repeat again. And that's going to happen in, the poly, in this election you are seeing. The most potent altar is going to direct the spiritual and the physical direction of a nation. Whether a business, whether a sphere of influence, whether anything. I looked at one person one time. I said, you are the one that planted, started this type of business on this street. Now, dedicate that street to God. Because that's the law of first mention. It's the law of first fruits. But most believers have been taught how to be individualistic. My Lord and personal. Please, when you read your Bible and you see my Lord and personal Savior, come and tell me. Because I'm not seeing it. It might be there, or I'm not saying it's not there. But when you see it, just send me the verse. Say, Pastor, check this one. My Lord and personal Savior. So, when we have Lord and personal Savior, we carry him everywhere. My Lord and personal Savior, let's go. <laughs> but if you have our Father, you will think communally. How can I create a breakthrough for unwilling children? How can I create a breakthrough for a generation I may never see? So that nobody gets to censor TV. Some of you are afraid now. Sometimes when I want to watch film, problem. Problem. It's rated 18. Problem. Problem. Invisible. The visible powers. The visible powers are the God-ordained human structures. These are the visible powers. And there's the interplay between the invisible and the visible. Interplay between the visible and the invisible. Why do you think that people go and do ritual and they get money? 
He said, oh, oh, oh it's, it's not. It's, it, it, whether you like it or not, is there. Why do you think that somebody following God faithfully, following God faithfully, following precepts, all of a sudden, things begin to work well for the person? Why? The interplay of the visible and the, invis of the invisible and the visible. They say, take this thing, go and plant it in their house. And before you know it, if you don't understand spiritual warfare, all of a sudden you and your husband are used to be very sweet. Fight every day. Your first son and your second daughter, they are, your, your first son, they are now holding mommy stay. It's okay. Daddy, calm down. They, and you are wondering, this is not how this house is going to be. It's eh, eh, ever since. Listen, it's not ever since. Something in the invisible is affecting the visible. There are satanic priests dedicating every day, presenting blood. That's why when we say, take the communion. In my nation, I plead the blood of Jesus. Upon this land, I plead the blood of Jesus. Upon this nation, I plead the blood of Jesus. Three years, three, three years or two, I think three years before the Lekki massacre, there was a prophetic word given to some set of ladies in the open heavens conference in Redding, California. And somebody brought the name Lekki. So when I saw some people doing this, thing, I cut out the prophetic word. And I sent to one of the ladies that was given to. I said, did you remember this? That place is full of technological breakthrough. So you get to, you get what are the visible or the structures? We know it here. And many of us think that it's just it's family, culture, and entertainment. All the spheres of influence are the human structures. And two people came together, be bright and Lauren Cunningham one time, and it's that same year that that same thing was delivered also to Babu Bako in the 1970s. That if you can take these spheres, you take over a nation. And I submit to you, there's a nation now in Africa that is using it clearly. That's what they are using and that's where we are clapping for them and shouting and jumping and not understanding some of the things inside that is causing it. Where there is spiritual emptiness, there cannot be progress. Forget it. What spiritual emptiness? It's not only, it's, 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 it's my disconnection with God, my disconnection with my fellow man, and my disconnection with my purpose. That brings spiritual emptiness. When I disconnect with God, I don't flow in peace. When I disconnect with my fellow man, there's no harmony. When I disconnect from my purpose, no prosperity. And that's why you see, every day you see young people. You start here, start this one, start this one, start this one, start this one. Because the, 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 there's this thing that, that is going on, I don't want to miss out. I don't want to miss out. I don't want to miss out. I don't want to. Everybody has gone into online business. Now, who will not do plumbing? Who will not do the physical handiwork? So, some people are cashing out in the physical handiwork. All of them are online now. There must be the physical. Am I making sense? Someone must drive the, the must drive the the, 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 the the cab. Someone must do something about that. That may not be your start, your end point. Also, it may be that you have got to create a transport system. Somebody must do that. All these human structure are under the interplay of the visible of the invisible. Something wants to control family so that we don't know the definition of husband and wife again. That a child has the right to take... So when you give birth to a child, it says a baby. Until the child comes into maturity, then the child will now say, I'm a girl or a boy. I'm wondering, I'm wondering, this kind of thing, they tire me. And the people that are doing it, you say, say, say they are only speaking English, it's only black man that does juju. You, you know juju. 
if there was no ritual, why do they have a department in, in NYPD, New York Police Department, called the Department of Ritual Murder? There is something going on now. People used... Somebody just shared it with me. People, you find somebody old, all of a sudden becomes young, very young again. Yeah. Mm. And it's gotten. Let's leave that. Let's go somewhere. Those ones comes when we are doing some form of intercession that you need to understand. Because some of us, you know, sometimes I don't give... I don't give, when I'm talking about somebody that's successful, I don't give some examples of people. There are people that will not go to a business meeting until they go with the person who has a crystal ball with them. And those are the ones we used to even make examples. Somebody joined a secret court in church. He said, my pastor used the person as an example. So I went to Google the person. I saw the person was in a court. So I joined that court. Because you see, success has become a God to us. Possessions have become a God to us. Pleasure has become a God to us. That we can't walk away and say no. I came to disciple you. You can't disciple me. Fame has become a God. That we can do anything to have them. And that's the visible and the invisible. Working together. Let's make these people to think like this. So Balaam, come and do this sacrifice. So that you lay a curse on them. And their hands will be weak. And Balaam was serving the God Ramon. This invisible power shapes beliefs and behaviors. And question, invisible principality interact and infers the visible principalities. They interact. The key to ultimate victory is to reconcile all things, visible and invisible, back to him. We are supposed to reconcile family and everything. Family, which is one that we, every other thing comes, I don't want to st stand against the enemy of family and support the home. When you get to a home and they are fighting, stop supporting husband and supporting wife. Yeah? You came to reconcile all things, not to scatter. He said, when I reach a place, I scatter. I scatter. You see, husband and wife, this, you take side. Say, that's how my father used to do. That's how my husband used to do. All these men, all these men. You, you know some men that are not sleeping now because their wife is not feeling fine. Some wives who are going the extra length. Because one man just deceived you. So a small girl will say, I will never love again. Men are bad. How many men have you met? <laughs> cultural spheres. You see, whether you like it or not, our cultural things put some values, priorities, practices, traditions, symbols, and expressions. We need to pray for our culture at this day. Some of our culture, all those things say we they forbid our poverty. It's poverty. He said, No, you must do this thing, no, you must do this thing, or else this thing. Then somebody in our culture say, Okay, how much? He say, Well, <laughs> it's just that they must eat and eat and eat. So all these cultures and everything is we need to be careful. We need to, it has to be reconciled back to God. I know when you meet Obao, you meet all these uh, Nigerians and everything, you will, you will begin to shout, Juju Savas, Juju Savas. Listen, I've discovered in Benin, most of the Benin names start with God. That means there was one time this place was discipled. Can we structure a system? You know, sometimes people think it's revival. When revival comes on, oh, we are, we are transformation. No. If something is not reformed, it goes back to the origin, to the place where it was coming from. That's why we have the Adlan School of Supernatural Reformation before transformation. We need to reform how family is done. The father needs to love the wife. 
That's the reformation. So we create a system and pray for it and stand with it and intercede. Where that there will not be any breakdown, but it will just be along the way. Now we are seeing that in Waek, the definition of marriage is between two people. It looks like a harmless definition until you define two people. Is man is is the union between man and woman, not two people. And that's what the answer. If you if you answer in Waek that is between man and woman, you fail. You say it's not in the law, but it's in the education. And law physically changes when the law inside of you has changed. So we need to go. Economic sphere. Equality of opportunity. Equality of opportunity. Listen, there are some repentance we need to do. Repentance. Repentance. In terms of tribalism. Nakparapo. You... Charity, instead of giving aid, jubilee. Jubilee is a reset. It's God's research agenda and generosity. What's jubilee? There's a time where people have not done well with their life. You go back to jubilee. But right now, there's a system where people are kept in perpetuity in terms of debt. They live in debt. They die in debt. That's not God's or their plan. The debt that God gave you that gave them to do is that to help them to get out of poverty. But if they cannot get back to poverty at a certain stage in life, there should be a global reset where they are forgiven and everybody goes back to his land. But people don't want that global reset. They own their, they own their own, re own reset. But in the name of Jesus, it will fail. You didn't say it a loud no amen. I say it will fail. You didn't say a loud amen. I say it will fail. Political spheres, we need justice, rule of law, maximize freedom and protection. All these are what we'll be praying about. When you walk in such places, please pray about. Are you in the law enforcement? Please pray. Are you in public service, civil service? You are not there to make money and join them because you want to build houses. You want to be like those people. How many houses can you stay? We're not supposed to live life the way the world is living life. If you want to follow Jesus, follow Jesus. If you don't want to follow him, follow another person. Follow another person. We are comparing ourselves. Who is more successful? Who is this thing? Competing with one another. No. Listen. You know, as I was talking, some of us have chosen this pathway. Doesn't mean you are better than that person. No. God has given you the ability to make wealth. Use it to make wealth. But don't think that you're better than the next person who have decided that this is my pathway. I will be a teacher. And I will teach nursery school. I will teach toddlers. Say, as much children I did teach, you go suffer. You see. It was. And somebody will tell you, eh, I've decided to suffer now. Is it, what? Some people do not even need more. The thing you are saying that you are broke. When some people see you, they will be bowing. How many of you have only two pairs of shoes in life? Raise up your hand. Only two tops in life. Two tops. Two shirts. You are Baba. <laughs> you are Baba. He says, I'm suffering. Suffer. How many of you ate yesterday? Not because, some of you did not eat because you were fasting. How many of you ate? Some of you don't want to raise up your hand now. <laughs> some of you, ate, some, how many of you ate four times or three times? <laughs> After the three times, you now had snack in between. <laughs> Just, uh, you are Baba. And lastly, religious fair or the beliefs. 
faith, hope, love, conscience, truth, and alignment. You see, as we begin to pray for this first, you see, we need to come into a place where has pastors abused people? We need to repent. Has one tribe dominated another tribe because they are in minority? I mean one tribe. I didn't say because to you now it's also Fulani, Fulani. That's this thing. Has, has the has the Ishan dominated the minority Ishan that they think that there's one Ishan that speaks Bini and Ishan together? They are not in they are not they are not really really Ishan. They, 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 so in the scheme of things, they should not they are not Okba and and and, and they, they, they should be dominant. Come on. That one we should repent. Because it's not only... The, so what we are seeing now is a larger scale. As the Elijahs, the, 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 the different people within the West dominated others, we need to repent. And we come into a place where we have the sacred cows within the church that not do, that it's only those that have the means that are voices are heard within the church. We need to repent of that. And as God gives you that, you start re- re- repenting before we go to the heavens to legislate. We need to legislate. So when I was singing, they were singing, we pull heaven down. We need to go to the heavens, in, according to Daniel chapter 7, where the courts were seated, and go and repent and say, Lord, we need the redemptive destiny of our nation to come. The redemptive destiny of public service. In this place that I'm working, what is the goal? What, why was it created? That's what we need to start praying within that place. Why was the family created? Those are the spiritual warfare and we will win the battle if we come and say, Lord, we stand. I stand as a man. For every man, in, every place, in, men <coughs> batter their wives and, and, and they, 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 they strip them of their identity. We repent. Everywhere I'm a woman. Everywhere a, a, a woman manipulated a man for her own gain. We repent of it. We go to the places where there's ethnic cleansing. One tribe wants to clean up the other tribe. We repent. Every place where there's nepotism, paracoism, we need to repent of that. When we're going to repent, where's a, a, a 1% of the people is pillaging 99% of the people for their own benefit. We need to repent of that. Rise up on your feet.